You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark in this great arena. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Mokayev, really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. He's past the half guard. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Clinch work. Double leg take down attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now to the top position? Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Mokayev's in half guard. Three minutes. Now he's going full mount. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Steve Ursay. He set up a beautiful submission. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Holding the position now. He's smart. He knows not to lose his position. Well, it's hard to win a fight working off of your back, but that elbow is useful. Ursek gets hit by another elbow. He is in the danger zone now. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. In the half guard. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Takes his back now. Oh, look at that high-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Mokayev's in half court. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. This is where he wants to be. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Mokayev's back in full mount. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Nicely done. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Final seconds here of round one. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one.
Time. Four seconds for the end of round one. Stop. Make sure you get him in the guard when it's in All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. I thought he did a pretty good job defensively in the previous round to minimize the damage of those ground strikes. Oh, absolutely. He was moving his head. He was controlling his opponent's posture. He was just making sure that he was never truly in the line of fire. Just moving his hip from side to side, not being a stationary target. That's the key to not absorbing big, big ground and pound. And he did that very effectively in the last round. Man, how good is this takedown defense tonight? Pretty good attempt offensively, but once again, the spell is there. Well, the wrestler's doing a good job of setting up his takedowns. He just can't finish. This guy's really good, man. And we knew this would be an even fight. But you are seeing the more well-rounded guy getting the job done tonight. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Oh, nice. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. I mean, look at the timing on that takedown, John Ann. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Ursa. All right, so he's setting up for a submission here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Great ground and pound by this man. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Urseg's in half guard now. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. his opponent's belly flat on the mat. Oh, good ground and pound here. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. That was nice. mokayev has got his back again. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Takedown defense is there. Man, 
look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Nice defense there. Single leg attempt, no good. Uh, effective strike from the clinch there by Ursa. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, that gilly is tight. Oh, he's out. Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. Oh, that's getting in deep now. That's real deep, John. He's got to be careful. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to oh, the position. Wow. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Ooh, that shot was blocked. The hook lands on the counter. Nice execution on the team. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Takedown defense holds up. Big right hook there by the champ. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Nice. Nice. Nicely done. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. All right, so there's a swing and a miss from him, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even more than when you land a strike. So clearly it is energy preservation time at this point of the fight. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Strike lands cleanly there. Oh, huge knee to the head. Oh, nice right hand. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Well, that eye area is getting bloodier with every passing strike. It's like a target, and he keeps going to it, and you see it's starting to get worse as the fight is going on. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's going to get a Ursay, slower job does not look good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, compromising spot here. Trying to choke his left in. Oh, 
he got out again. He got out again. It's unbelievable. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Mokayev's bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. That lead right will work. Nicely done there by Steve Ursin. And that left hook landed on the button. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him here. Yeah, you kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final goal. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though. Where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Urseg's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Go ahead, go. Three go rounds go. in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here is round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Oh, good uppercut there. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt. He got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Shot blocked there by Steve Ursa. Wow, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. Body shot. Oh, big left hook there. Ursa goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Good right here. Wow, what a fight! Ursex, an absolutely bloody mess right now. Cut man knows he's got his work cut out for him between rounds. Oh! Oh, massive diving punch, flush to the head. And it looks as though... Oh, another ground strike gets through. Responsible, nice block. Urseg's able to protect the eye there with that block. So that is a nice adjustment that the fighter made there to raise the guard and prevent further damage on that cut. Mark going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice and works out for him. There. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Well, the crowd can... There it is again.
fight here under two to go. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you got to credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Muhammad the Punisher. All right, so the path to UFC Golden Glory at flyweight still goes through him as he defends the title successfully tonight by way of knockout, and it's going to take a huge effort, I would think, to dethrone this guy at 125 pounds. A massive effort, and in every title defense, you see his confidence raise and his ability continues to improve over and over over this great title reign.